Welcome back. So this is our second video from Order to Cash series. In this video, we will learn how to create the sales order practically in the SAP system. But before that, let me explain the concept of what is sales order. So sales order, it's a contra uh, contractual agreement between the sales organization. Means if I'm manufacturing something, so I want to sell with sold to party. So contractual agreement between the customer and the seller, right? So uh, in this particular document, so we are going to add all the details, like what is the price of the product, selling price. Then also here I'm going to add other conditions. Are we going to give you any discount? Then uh, when we are going to ship it, so delivery date will be there. So all the details related to our further activities, what we are going to do. So all these informations will be included in this particular document. Is this one accounting document? No. With reference to sales order, there will be no accounting involved or you will not get any accounting document with reference to this. This is purely logistic document and related to the sales uh, team or uh, the sales team is going to manage it. Or you can say this is the first step in our O2C cycle or order to cash cycle. So to initiate the process okay so how we will do this one in the system in different applications in different way we can do this one so i'm going to take the example of sap uh, s4 hana system so here i'm going to use the transaction code i hope you know the transaction code so the transaction code will be the va01 and other details will be involved here so next we will check sales in the system now who is going to create the sales order so this is our roadmap related to order to cash so this person is going to create the sales order so this person is going to create the sales order and that this person is from the sd team so this person having all the informations related to customers requirement all the master records are readily available now that person is going to fit all the informations uh, in system and automatically system is going to create the related information now being user i am not going to add all the information i will add what the product we are going to sell in our example it is 93 to whom we are going to sell in our example so this is our fg finished product and to whom we are going to sell that is our customer or in sd language we are saying that it is our sold to party and uh, we are also going to enter how many product we are going to sell to this particular customer so let's say for our reference purpose i am going to take here one item so that it will be easy for us for calculation and all to understand the calculation and all that's it now what is the selling price what is the cost price all the cost price already we we have seen in our video number two uh, all these informations I don't have. So being user, I'm just going to add this information and automatically as per the pre-configured configuration by the consultant, system is going to determine all the selling price because uh, whether discount is available or not, right? So what is the tax amount, whether uh, this particular uh, product is available, stock availability. So all this information system is going to check automatically. So in your interview, you will get a question. So what is sales order and uh, who is going to create it? What information it will be there? So sales order is nothing but this is our uh, initial transaction to initiate the sales. So with reference to sales order, uh, with reference to the customer's re purchase order, now we are going to create the sales order. And with reference to sales order, what is the accounting entry will be there? So there is no accounting entry with reference to sales order. Although there is one advanced scenario is there, predictive accounting, but here I will go with the traditional process so that uh, you will not get confused because that is related to margin analysis for costing people. But this is from the sales point of view. So with reference to sales order, there is no accounting document will be there. Or you can say that in this particular document, there is no integration between FI and SD exist. So only the internal document, sales document will be generated. So let's do that. So now we are in so system. Right. So we will create sales order by using the transaction code VA01 entered. Now select here the order type. So all I'm using here the standard parameters so that in your system also you can exactly practice with the same parameters. Then enter, you need to enter your sales organization. So uh, when you will work in office, so these informations will be provided by your senior. So they will provide you like in which organization you are going to create the sales order. So sales organization, which for our my demonstration purpose, I created this one, distribution channel, division, all this. So no need to worry. Once you will enter in the system, either if you are configuring or you are practicing, you must have configured this. And in office, you will get this information from your senior. 
so enter now to whom we are going to sell so if you know the number directly enter it if you don't know then we can search also we can just click here and you will get the uh, information so this is my customer or this is our customer to whom we are going to sell the particular product so it is uh, sold to party means nothing but in sd we are saying customer sold to party then with reference to some maybe we can say purchase number so po number is let's say four triple zero five six seven okay so with reference a date so we are processing this sales order uh, with reference to customers purchase order and uh, other informations like we can add here right uh, here i have not entered anything i just entered here the product which we are selling so that is 93 then how many quantities as i said i will take one then other information so i will enter here so this is my header information this is my line item so just few informations i added here and enter now you can see a couple of informations automatically available in the system here i can see the net value is automatically updated okay i want to see the detailed calculation so how i got this price or how system updated this info this for me okay so all this coming from our configuration so if i will check here now this is configured by the consultant so this is configured by the developer backend so for demonstration purpose of course i configured but in office you will get this uh, i mean automatically in your screen it will appear so that means the product the selling price this of this particular product for this customer it is 800 800 inr this cost price already we have seen in our video number two so that is also reflecting here so as it is one item so the selling price updated here so we are going to give discount to the customer now it's not like a general rule that for every customer we are going to give one percent discount so that again conditions need to be created because we, what will be the selling price for this customer maybe for a different customer selling price will different for another customer maybe we are going to give more discount here we are giving one percent discount or we are not going to give any discount so all this need to be in details need to be uh, need, need to be configured right so here the tax automatically system calculated then cash discount in future if it will be there that also so all informations are readily available and uh, uh, being user if I'm creating the sales order automatically if all the configurations are correct so automatically in system is you are going to go so if you are consultant and you are practicing you are testing your product you are testing your configuration so make sure that all the informations are readily available if you are user or preparing for user then no need to worry automatically when you will practice or when you will work in the office so this needs to be pre-configured by the consultant so it is readily available now I I think all the informations are available so I am good to go so I want to see if any missing informations are there or not so just I will check the completion log no document is perfect complete and I can post it save so sales order created the so order number 58 let's note it somewhere and this one we are going to use further sales order number 58 so in our next video we are going to proceed with our next task next activity because order completed so next we will proceed with the delivery and goods issue now i want to see as i prepared or i created the sales order so with reference to sales order is there any accounting document generated or not or let's say finance team because this one will be done by the sales people now finance team they want to check with reference to this uh, sales order if any accounting document is generated or not so I'm just selecting today's date and uh, let's see if any accounting document is generated or not in fact in this company code no transactions are posted so I just no I executed there is no accounting document generated but sales order created so sales order created but without any accounting document so this is our first activity so in next video we will see how to do the outbound delivery